everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be doing some DIY charcuterie boards from Dollar Tree Trivets and the bamboo trays. I'm also including the dough cutters that you can find in the kitchenware section, as well as the baby bumpers on the baby section. involves the bamboo cutting boards or trays. I'm simply gluing them onto the dough cutters after I've spray painted everything. I am using hot glue in this clip. I do recommend that you use E6000. I have that noted down below as well. I think a stronger glue would hold better, but for video purposes, I am using the hot glue. involves the glass trivets. I am using the square one in this case. Um, actually for the next two I'm using the square one and I am again simply gluing the dough cutters onto the back of the trivet. Um, I am using the crafters glue. I found it held a lot better than hot glue of course and again I do recommend you use E6000 but you just want to glue it on there and I did actually use wine bottles to hold it all down and tight. If you have clamps I would recommend you use clamps as well. I'm um, just to give the glue a good seal so that it dries properly and you can utilize your trivets a lot better. using the baby bumpers from the Dollar Tree. They fit perfectly on the square trivets. So I am using hot glue again. I do recommend you use the crafters glue or a stronger glue like E6000. Um, but it worked out perfectly and it's honestly one of my favorite uh, charcuterie boards that I did make uh, for this tutorial. <laughs>
it there are little like feet rubber feet on the bottom of the trivets and I do recommend you take them off you'll see me do that on a couple of them here but honestly for all of them you could just take them off they're unnecessary as in the case of the baby bumpers they're already rubber so they do give it a good hold so it's not sliding on your countertops and the dough cutters are pretty sturdy as well i do encourage you to add them back if you desire i'm um, just to provide more stabilization or a higher lift to your charcuterie boards <music> For the fork DIY, I am making a sign with one of the Dollar Tree trivets. I'm using the round glass one. I do recommend you use the smooth side and you will be able to tell the texture difference with your hand. Um, the smooth side was just better to put the rub on transfers um, on it and it came out perfectly to me. You'll see that I actually pulled away some of the letters um, just to make it a little simpler and sweeter of a sign. and perhaps even showing you some interior design spaces. For instance, today I'm expecting a new rug in my new home and I'm really just excited to share what I have uh, with all of you. Um, please give this video a like, um, please share and also subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos from me. I'm not just gonna do DIYs as I stated, I'm definitely gonna get some interior design in there. I have a lot of painting to do um, in this house. so. Thank you again for joining me and please come back for my next video. Bye.